Hello, I'm Anna Raimondi coming to you from the Angel Cooperative in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Welcome to this episode of Talking to the Dead in Suburbia. Today, our guest is Anna Mercedes Reuter, who is an author, angel coach, and expert in love and relationships. She has channeled God's messages through his angels since childhood. For over 35 years, she has witnessed how the angelic messages have contributed to helping people make better decisions at an emotional and professional level. Anna Mercedes has also been featured in the Huffington Post, MSN.com, Characol TV International and Televista Editorial, among others. Currently, she contributes to Univision Hispanic newspapers in the US and msn.com. So welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Hi, Anna. Thank you so, so much. I am excited too. And um, I feel honored about this, this special moment with you and your listeners. Well, thank you. Um, and you've done so many things. But the one thing I want to know is when did you first recognize that the angels were speaking to you? And how did you know they were angels? You know, it's interesting because I don't really have like a clear memory of that. And actually it was my mother, the one who told me about it. She said that when I was about five, six years old, she started noticing some, you know, kind of behaviors um, in myself. Like, uh, for example, she said to me that I used to sit on my bed uh, with my eyes closed and I would start like writing very fast. And I was just five years old. So I was just learning to, you know, how to write. So that that kind of caught her attention, of course. And at first she thought I was like sleepy walking. <laughs> so she she didn't say anything, but I kept doing it and kept doing it. And then then she she um she looked at what I was writing and she noticed that it was like a very unique, different handwriting for, a, you know, a girl of my age, and she couldn't really read much of it, out of it, but she understood the word God. And uh, I also used to tell her that I would feel somebody sitting on my bed, but I, that I wasn't scared of it, that I wasn't afraid, that I would hear voices talking to me, but I wasn't afraid, and so forth. And uh, as I said, I don't have any memories of those of those uh, years, but then I grew up, and when I was like in my teen, um, a, a, in my teen years, is when I started noticing that I would hear a voice talking to me, and I didn't know, of course, what that was, um, but I just let it flow. I never felt scared, never ever, and that voice would be kind of like answering my own thoughts. It was like a conversation in my mind. And then at some point I asked, who are you? And they said, don't worry, don't be afraid. We are beings of light. And that's how I discovered that I was communicating or I was having some type of contact. And after that, I, as I said, I just let it flow. And they've always been my, my teachers. And uh, I've been, I consider myself a good student because I always follow their, their instructions. And that's how, you know, how they helped me uh, growing up spiritually. And that's how I became a, uh, their channel. So how did you know they were angels and not just, you know, spirits that were coming in? Um, because they said to me they were beings of light. And, and you know, through, through that communication that I, I kept with them, they explained to me that they, they came from the light, that they came okay. from God. They, they let me know who they were. And of course... I, I, I always felt their energy and I always knew that it was something good because I always felt peace. I always felt protected. I always felt very, you know, I, I felt safe. And so I knew I was in like in a good presence. Um, so that's, that's how I learned it was them. Do you also communicate with those in spirits or Mother Mary or anybody like that? Or you're um, really focused on angels? I've had, I have uh, special moments with, um, with Mother Mary. Uh, I've received messages from Jesus, um, archangels, um, masters. Um, I have received messages through loved ones when, you know, I do my, my sessions, my individual sessions. But uh, my focus has always been angels, uh, the Holy Spirit, of course, and archangels. 
Yeah, it's interesting because I find people that communicate with angels, like that's what they stick with, you know, mm -hmm. you know, unlike people like me, like I feel angels, I feel people in spirit. I know the difference with feeling God and, and Mary, and I'm able to distinguish based upon, you know, like spirits are denser, energies are totally. the energy of angels is lighter. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's a little bit different, but I, I love that. I mean, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So what do you do to bring them in? Like if you're having a session with someone, do you just kind of call them up? The thing is that since they have always been part of, for part of my life and part of me, um, it's kind of like something that is so natural. I don't need to just like, I don't need to call them. I just need to like think of them and I start feeling their presence. Uh, and sometimes as you must know, um, I don't even call them and they start sending messages. <laughs> so, so, um, it's something that really, really flows. Uh, when I am in a, in a session, I just tell the person, please, you know, uh, let me know what, what, um, uh, your, you know, the questions of your heart are. And then I just, I just let the, the connection flow through me and I just tell God, you use me, use me. And whomever needs to talk, whomever needs to, uh, you know, um, make themselves present, so be it. So that that's how it goes. You know, I love what you just said, because I think the how people can tell that they're with a true healer is the healer that doesn't say this is me. This is me. I'm so talented. It's I'm the vehicle through which mm -hmm. God works, mm -hmm. you know, exactly. um, and that brings it, it, it just that's how, you know, anyone listening to this, that's how, you know, someone is real because it's not about ego. It's putting the ego aside, which is Absolutely. real. Um, so how different is it? Like if you're going to channel, say my grandmother, I don't know, somebody who's passed, is it, do you go through a different process to do that? No, same thing. No, it's um, since they, they are the ones who really control the conversation and the moment. And, and, and in fact, I've always told people that, you know, God and the angels have been the ones planning this encounter between that person and myself. So they, you know, the messages from a loved one, for example, sometimes even comes through them and not through the loved one um, directly. Sometimes I feel that person or that soul um, communicating with me. They don't talk to me. They, you know, it's a telepathic communication. And I also see symbols or I see their energies, the way those energies behave, so to speak. It's how I understand their messages. But they, as I said, they can come through the angels or they can come directly. So it's, it's, it's like this, the same thing. I just let them be in control. And how different is it when you hear God? Oh, wow. Um, when it's God talking, it's, I think it has to do with the words he uses um because he's very firm but of course you feel this overwhelming love and peace but he's got at least in my case that when he talks to me he uses very specific words so i really know when it's him talking um and of course it's it's through his his energy mm -hmm. um that's how i can recognize the power and the light of god from you know other all their yeah. energies it's mm -hmm. very different so is the communication with mary mm -hmm. very different um so you've written a bunch of books <laughs> yeah look at i mean they're all they're behind you um are any of them available in the united states yes in fact the angel cooperative has um has some some of them in my in uh, in their store so if if there's anybody who would be interested in reading my books, they can find them over there. And um, of course, they can find them online um, and they can find the paper version of one of my books also in bookstores um, like Barnes & Noble and others. So, yeah, um, online is the best way to find them. And uh, here in, in Richfield, uh, the Angel Co-op. Are any of them written in English or are they all in Spanish? <laughs> Not yet, but I hope they will be soon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get them in English because, you know, 
Yeah. If I had to read a book in Spanish, it would take me a long time. <laughs> yeah. it does, the translation doesn't come through easily. So how, how would you recommend to people in, in how they pray or how they bring angels into their own lives? Um, what I always uh, um, tell people when they ask me that question, and in fact, one of my books has to do with, with that topic specifically, is the way I learned or the way they taught me was first off to really want to have that communication and to really be open to receive the, the message. Because sometimes when we pray, when we talk to, to God and the angels, we are used to ask, 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 but not to listen and not to wait for the answer. So um, the way they told me was that like, okay, first off, you need to be very clear that you really want to um, establish this communication with, with God and what the, with, with, with us from your heart. Because believe it or not, many people say, yes, I want to do it, but at the same time, they are afraid of doing it. They are afraid of what they are going to hear if they, if they are going to see an angel at, you know, at some point. Um, so that fear can, of course, block the communication. So you need to be very clear about it. And then just talk from your heart. That is the key. Talk from your heart. Just let it talk freely, 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 because what they, they said to me was that the real language is the vibration from your heart. Yeah, that's what, 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 they, what they hear quote unquote. So the, the, the fact that you speak freely and you let it flow from your heart, then is when the real communication um, starts. And then just stay in silence and listen, pay attention. That's easy. It's, it's more simple than people think. Right. Really. I mean, all of this stuff is simple, but we tend mm -hmm. to complicate everything because we're human and that's what yep. we do mm -hmm. too, too bad, you know, yeah. for all of us. Can you see my guardian angel around me or do you know the name of my guardian angel? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, okay. So now that I ask, I start feeling and seeing one, one energy on your, it's your right side. I see it on the left is your right side. Um, he's saying to me that it's that actually it's more than one. It's saying it's showing me like two, but I'm not seeing the second one yet. So he's the one who's, you know, making this. Um, making himself present. I'm okay. I'm trying to hear the name. I'm just, I'm just hearing an A right now. It's like, it's, it's, it's so interesting actually, because I'm hearing like an, like, you know, when you, when you chant the mantra, mm -hmm. like, uh, it's, it's, he's doing like that, that kind of sound. It's so right. interesting. I would have guardian angels that are funny. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's actually like, yeah like using some type of mantra and it's like a letter a like ah uh, mm. and uh, you know now i see him like he's whispering in your ear like he's trying to tell you like i see him like whispering in your ear and he's making me making me feel as if you know well, I, I, just keep you hearing, know. I keep hearing amen. Oh, okay. Makes sense. It makes sense. But is that the name but of an angel? Amen? It can be either. I mean, any, any name. It can be any name. And um, he's telling me, he's really telling me, he's, he's talking to you. <laughs> he's not talking to me. He's talking to you, but he's kind of silly. Because he is like whispering in your ear, but he looks at me like with this, like kind of like, like, a, like a smiley face type of. So he's, he's having this silly attitude, very cute. 
but at, with that attitude, he's trying to let me know that you know, and that you know how his energy presents itself. Like, you know, when, when mm -hmm. he's there ne uh, next to you. The other one, I just felt as if it's not as close to you as this first one is. It's, it's on the other side, but it's more distant. It's like at this, this, you know, this distant uh, from you. But he's, he's, this other angel is letting this angel to be like the, you know, like the star of this moment. Mm -hmm. I feel that this one is actually the one who's more like the boss between these two or has more, you know, uh, presence. Um, and this one has like a sweeter, sweeter um, energy. It's more, it's more, yeah, it's more like, yeah, it's more, more sweet. It's, it's very, very cute, like cute, like sweet. Hmm? This one is a stronger and funny, this one. Yeah, I feel the stronger, funny one all the time. Okay. Yeah, he does whisper in my ear and he's a little comical. Like, exactly. Like, he's the one who like tells me to lighten up, you know, okay. like stop, laugh. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. He, funny, funny, exactly, funny, funny. He's like, um, he, yeah, he's he's funny and he keeps us smiling. And um, um, let me see, he's showing me something right now, like, um, and it's something up for you. It's like a message. Give me one second. He's showing me kind of like he's holding something in his hands, but for some reason I'm starting to feel as if it's kind of like a message about like revealing something to you something that probably will come up um, and I feel like it's related to your your activity your work your profession um, it's not exactly a book but I feel something in the shape of a book something kind of a squared I can't see very, very well right now, but it's definitely related to work. And it's like letting you know that there is something. Um, hmm. And I just saw a door. So each time God shows me a door, to me, doors are, have, are very, very meaningful because of course it's like, a, like an opportunity. So each time God shows me a, a door is an opportunity for the person. And I just saw that door for you. Um, so it's definitely related to work. It's definitely related to work. God doesn't show me um, like time frames, but um, for some reason, for some reason, is is letting me know or making me feel as if it's something that I could say is within within um, this probably next six months or so, like this first semester of 2021 for some reason um and believe me i don't tell time frames i don't i don't like it no, this all makes perfect <laughs> this all makes perfect sense to me oh really okay yeah um so i'm in the beginning of writing a book okay with somebody else um you know um kind of the beginning of it is um you know we're still working out i also have opportunities for a lot of um more media work you know, okay. you know okay. it's television, it's more television, you know, stuff like that. And this seems to be all rolling out in the next six months. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Because again, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm very careful with time frames because I don't like to create expectations in people, but for some reason I felt it, I felt it. And I felt like, of course, I, I, I had to share it with you. Um, sorry, there is that that door, and I think it's a confirmation about what you just said because I just saw like a microphone, and the microphone is like the symbol of media, of course. So I see like 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 a microphone, um, and I just see the energy of somebody, like a person, is standing next to that door, and they are making me feel as if it is like the decision making person, somebody who makes the the the, the, the decision. Um, and, and the person is like in the process of like confirming the moment when that door will open. So that decision mm -hmm. is in the hands of a person, yeah, like the, there's the, one person. So I have to tell you that I have had a lot of people who have tried to read my energy, say anything to me, 
and no one ever has been able to. You are the first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, apparently, I have an army around me of angels and spirit guides that that people just can't penetrate. Hmm. So I think that since you're so close to the angels that they've opened up. Aww. Let you tap into me. I am so blown away because literally nobody even comes close to getting it right. And um, thank you. I feel honored. Um, but uh, it's so interesting that, you know, um, like all the time when I'm talking to people, of course, I receive messages, but there are moments when I really, really feel the presence. And when I really feel the energy, it's not all the time, but this is one of those moments when I am really feeling the presence. And when I feel like, you know, information is coming through, information is coming through. And um, we could have spent hours here talking, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I would be, uh, that would be amazing to me because truly, like what you just said, it was like, I mean, people say things to me and they're like, well, that's not really true. You know, I don't even know where to go with that. But this has been, that's, you're amazing. That was wonderful. Thank really you. Wonderful. All the credit to God and to the angels. That's right. <laughs> you know, so thank you all. Thank you. This is my, this is, this is my birthday week. So that was a birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, you were great. Um, I so appreciate, you know, what you said to me and with, you know, being on the show today, I, I, you're just great. Um, and if people want to come to some of your events, they can just go to your website, correct? Can they yes. do that? Um, and can you tell us what your website is? Yeah, I mean, it, the, the easiest way is by, you know, my name, anamercedesreda.com. Um, so that's how they can um, get to my website. And it, under, under my name also, they can, they can find me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and Instagram. And, you know, when these books come out in English, I think everybody should get them. But if you read Spanish, Christy has the books at the Angel Co-op, so you can stop in the Angel Co-op and get them or on Amazon or wherever, wherever you want to look. Um, and I'm sure, I know I will be doing things with you in the future. Yes. Um, because you have so touched my heart. Oh. Um, and I thank you so much for being on today. Oh, same here. And I, 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 I heard about you. And uh, just until now, I have that, you know, the honor and the pleasure of meeting you virtually. I know we'll meet in person soon. Um, and thank you so, so much for allowing me to deliver the message, for listening, for, you know, um, having this, this opportunity of being part of the podcast. And I wish you all the best. And again, happy birthday. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I did. Um, if so, please like, share, and comment, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an episode. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you.